Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. I got to tell you, that truly is a tragedy down there in Louisiana because when it's not raining, temperatures are 90, 95 degrees. So you can only imagine the mess and the headache that those folks are going through down there. But you know what? That same weather pattern is impacting our weather here and is going to bring us more rain for the first day of school for kids in CPS. So here's a look at a damp start tomorrow morning for your Wednesday. I do expect more scattered rain across the area, and I'm not going to rule out that some of that rain still has the potential of being heavy in the morning. Temperatures will be muggy right around. 70 degrees and I expect scattered on and off rain pretty much all day. Basically a repeat of today across the area. There may be a few pockets of sun thrown in in between those downpours, but all in all it should generally be kind of one of those cloudy, gloomy, very humid days. Basically a repeat performance of the past few days around here for us and we'll keep those scattered downpours. Some of the rain locally heavy into the evening tomorrow as temperatures barely make it into the 80s. All right, hasn't been a terribly wet evening across the area thus far, but rain is beginning to pick back up as expected. Here's a live look outside right now. You know what? We were telling you late last week that we think probably by Tuesday afternoon, two to four inches of rain across a good part of the area. Well, officially here in Cincinnati, we have now topped that two inch mark, closing in on about two and a quarter there. Of course, certainly some of you, especially in southeast Indiana, have seen some heavier rainfall amounts on the order of three, four inches in some cases, even more than than that and we're going to add to it overnight tonight and through the day tomorrow. So here's a look at the radar tonight. Mainly light rain shower activity. Notice there's no real greens or yellows embedded in any of this activity. It's light, but you notice it's starting to increase and the coverage become a little more widespread across the area. So from Middletown to Hamilton, back southeast into Indiana here from Aurora to Versailles, the rain a little bit steadier. This stuff will come and go overnight, but I do think again that it's going to get heavier towards morning for some of us. Temperatures, well, they're not going to fall much overnight tonight. We're in the 70s now, and that's basically where we'll stay. Most areas, right about 72, 73 degrees. Springboro, Hamilton, all at 73 tonight, and then 71 up in Oxford, low 70s across much of northern Kentucky. Here's a look at this persistent and pesky, stubborn weather pattern that's really not changing here. And tonight you can still see that flow of moisture right out of Louisiana up the Mississippi River Valley, and then it turns right into the Ohio River Valley. And until this slow moving frontal system gets out of our area, we are going to keep the threat for rain around for the next couple of days, even though I do think it will be a little drier in time. All right, here's a look at future cast. Notice how you see a little bit more in the way of colors on here. Some yellow, some oranges, some reds. This is 730 in the morning. This will be something to tune in. You want to wake up and check in with Randy first thing in the morning because there could be some locally heavy rain for the morning commute. Then as we go throughout the day again, of course, we'll keep hit and miss downpours across the area. It looks like Thursday and Friday look to be drier days, but I can't completely promise there won't be any rain. So 70 for a low tonight, muggy with scattered rain. Don't be surprised towards morning even if a rumble of thunder or a flash of lightning or two sneaks in there. And then tomorrow, morning rain could be steady to start out and then going into more scattered pop-ups during the afternoon. We'll sneak our way into the 80s. Here's your day planner, 70 at 8 a.m. for a wet start. Maybe some sun peaks around lunchtime and then we'll see those pop-up storms flare up during the afternoon. Temperatures will stay in the mid 80s and we'll keep the threat for at least some pop-up downpours heading into the weekend. Saturday and the Sunday could be fairly wet, but if we keep our fingers crossed, Mike and Shree, I do think that early next week we'll finally clear the humidity out of here, get some sunshine in here, and I know it's a little early to say, but maybe even a taste of fall at night with temperatures in the 50s and 60s by early next week. Cherie's going to get a taste of the first day of school for her kids tomorrow. <laughs>